on behalf of Captain Howie, the officers and crew, would wish you um, a very good cruise with us today. But before we leave you to enjoy it, would you listen very carefully to the following safety announcement? In the unlikely event of an emergency, you'll be informed by a signal consisting of seven or more short blasts followed by one long blast on the ship's whistle and alarm. This is with a life jacket. Thank you for your attention to this very important announcement. We do hope and we should like to inform you that the whole of the range of alcoholic and soft drinks. And at the forward end of the promenade deck behind the observation lounge is the ship celebrating the anniversary of her launch in 1949. On, the, on today's cruise, we are celebrating the launch of our world on this day in 19. Also, if you booked your tickets by telephone or online and you've not received them through the post, you should also call at the person's office to collect your pre booked tickets. Thank you for your attention.
Yeah, the one that's like Bodium to Neely Roberts Bridge. Right, that one. Somewhere around there. Headphone? No. It used to go from Headphone to Roberts Bridge, but I think it's like got a few bits of it missing there. Just at the end of this area here, there is a branch, or was a branch of the railway that ended just there, just before here, on the land. So, oh, right, okay. As well as the other one further down that actually went onto the... Um, what was the station called? Um, uh, it was like Fort Queensbury, I think. Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 over the top of it was. Called Port Victoria. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's been around. And there's apparently a little boat went across to Queenborough on the other side, which we'll see as we go into the um, into the channel. Because actually left the bigger piers. Yeah, it was sort of tucked in, wasn't it? Yeah, it's kind of deep water here, really. Where that, where that is, yeah. Welcome here. Mm. Yeah, that's where they
lines of international code flags have been strung from the bows right over the tops of the two masts and down to the stern rail. And so Balmoral, bedecked with pennants and the house flags of the company and of the builders, shows up in great contrast on this blistering tropical day. For on one side of her, the dull red plates are being swung into another new ship. And at the foot of this parched and dusty slipway, I can see the drab sides of a Pakistani destroyer anchored in the water of the Hitchin. Here on the table in front of me, there's a heavy polished block of very ancient looking wood fitted at the top with a long steel lever and threaded right through with a small cable. And this block has been used for the launch of every ship from this yard for over 50 years and it's a tradition of the company. And Balmoral at this moment is held by one steel seer on the port side of the slipway. And when this lever here is, is, is operated, the slender wire will be cut and an automatic hammer will strike the seer to free her and to release her down into the water and at the same time the traditional box of wine will be broken. Well, the whistle has just sounded below, and the ceremony is about to begin. Every consideration has been given for this decoration in lighting the public room. 
in order to make them tasteful and pleasing. Officers and crews accommodated are arranged forward on the main and lower deck in accordance with military transport requirements. No, we're now diverging from the path that we we're not. came on here. Well, we will be soon. Let's go towards Sheerness. Other side is Essex and South End on Sea. Ahead of us, the point of land. In the distance, the Tuberin with uh, Palmas Island just coming out from the low-lying land. Where the sunshine is,
and uh, the guns Red in the others. And there's another set behind the shivering sand towers. They lost one tower in 1953 when a ship called the Bolbeck hit it. There was a third set of these forts actually near where we are now, the Nor forts between uh, Southend and Sheerness. These were taken away for demolition up at Cliff. If you've been on one of the uh, trips to London in Balmoral, um, you would have passed the site where just the feet, the stumps, remain sticking out of the mud. They also built four more towers to a naval design in 1942. One was off Margate, the Tongue. One was further up the east coast, the Knock John. Then there was the Sunk. And finally the Rough Tower, which was uh, 12 miles off Felixstowe. And uh, right in front of us, just a little to the left, is the Kentish Flats Wind Farm. Kentish Flats Wind Farm. On the right hand. Warden Point and Lays Down on the Sea.